The confiscation of Jewish homes was carried out as follows. So-called confiscation officials went from house to house where no records were available of the addresses of Jews who had departed or fled, as was the case, for instance, in Paris, in order to collect information as to abandoned Jewish homes. They drew up inventories of those homes and subsequently sealed them. In Paris alone, about 20 confiscation officials confiscated more than 38,000 homes. The transportation of the contents of these homes was completed with the entire car park of the Union of Parisian Removal Contractors who had to provide up to 150 trucks, 12 to 1,500 French laborers. Looting on such a scale seems fantastic, but I feel I must refer to another statement. For though the seizure of the contents of over 71,000 homes and their shipment to the Reich in upwards of 26,000 railroad cars is by no means a petty operation, the quantities of plundered art, treasures, and books, and their incalculable value as revealed in the documents I am about to offer, will make these figures dwindle by comparison. I next refer to the stacks of leather-bound volumes in front of me, some of them are here, to which the justice referred in his opening statement. These 39 volumes, which are before me, contain photographs of works of art secured by the Einsatzstab and are volumes which were prepared by members of the Rosenberg staff. All of these volumes bear our number 2522 PS, and I offer them in evidence. I'm passing to your honors eight of these volumes so that each one of you, they're all different, but so that each one of you might see a sample of the inventory. I call your honor's attention to the inside cover page. Most of them have an inventory in German of the contents of the book. And then follows a true photograph of each one of these priceless objects of art separated by fine tissue paper. There are 39 of these volumes that were captured by our forces when they overran a part of southern occupied German area. In an underground cavern, most of them, in the, I believe the southern part of Bavaria, and these books, these books were found by our staff in connection with the group of U.S. Army people who have assembled these objects of art and are now in the process of returning them to the rightful owners. That's where we got those books. Twenty-one thousand nine hundred and three pieces of art. These included five thousand two hundred and eighty-one paintings, pastels, watercolors, and drawings. Six hundred and eighty-four miniatures, glass and enamel paintings, books and manuscripts. There are 2,477 articles of furniture of value to art history. Some of your honors have volumes showing those antique articles. The mere statement that 21,903 artworks have been seized 
does not furnish an adequate conception of their value. I refer again to the statement in the document just quoted, quote, that the extraordinary artistic and material value of the seized artworks cannot be expressed in figures, unquote, and that they are objects of such a unique character that their valuation is entirely impossible. These 39 volumes are by no means a complete catalog. They present at most pictures of about 2,500 of the art objects seized. And I ask you to imagine that this catalog had been completed and in the place of 39 volumes, we had 350 to 400 volumes. In other words, if they were prepared in inventory form as these 39 volumes to cover all of them, it would take 350 to 400 volumes. I beg of you, my Pura, to give me a chance during my next audience to report to you orally on the whole extent and scope of this art seizure action. I beg you to accept a short written intermediate report of the progress and the extent of the art seizure action which will be used as a basis for this later oral report. And also accept three copies of the temporary picture catalogs, which too only show a part of the collection you own. I shall deliver further catalogs, which are now being compiled when they are finished. Rosenberg then closes with this touching tribute to the aesthetic tastes of the Fuhrer, tastes which were satisfied at the expense of a continent, and I quote, I shall take the liberty during the requested audience to give you, my Fuhrer, another 20 folders of pictures with the hope that this short occupation with the beautiful things of art which are nearest to your heart will send a ray of beauty and joy into your revered life, unquote. Just a moment, sir. It's just a few of them. I call your attention again that each of the pictures you have just seen is merely representative of a large number of similar items illustrated in the 39 volume catalog, which is in itself only partially complete. 